Here's another little quick video showing another truck in the in my stable here. This started off as an Axial SCX10 honcho and I turned it in turned it into something I've called the doodle bug, which is a term used for old trucks converted into some sort of utility type vehicle. It's a term that I grew up around a little bit, so as an idea I had a couple of years ago and ended up slowly building this truck up over it. It's been a long drawn out process, which was uh, kind of fun though. So like I said, SCX 10 chassis, all stripped down. All this tube work was then done. Uh, Jerry at the DMG helped out with a bunch of it. And then I've done a little bit of modification as well as some new stuff up front. Then it was all just sat outside. It all rusted and I didn't really touch it much. Uh, slowly did some of this woodwork like on the back here. Mostly done out of balsa and basswood, stained with some wood stain, uh, burned, oil sat on it, dirt rubbed in it, things like that, just to give it a little weathering. Uh, this little piece of steel back here, kind of a gas tank looking contraption, is actually where I put the battery normally. So I just I set a lipo inside of it, and then that all goes right in the frame. So it all tucks in there pretty uh, pretty well normally and then I usually just do something like strap it in with some sort of toe strap looking deal since this truck isn't about looking good uh, the ESC sits right underneath the seat as well as the axial transmission and Holmes Hobby 35 turn motor it's a BRXL waterproof ESC so works great on the 3S that I normally run it on the suspension is still four linked in the rear with a square tubed truss uh, supporting the upper links. Up front is using the RC Bros SCX10 leaf spring kit as well as the chassis mounted servo bracket that comes with that kit. As you can see there's no uh, inner fender here or however you want to call it, hood side. I had these new louvered hood sides made by uh, dude on RCC that's got like seven U's if you're wanting to, to find him but I'll be I'll be cutting these out and they'll uh, be replacing those sides there I had something in there before like this and it's just made out of steel but the original fenders came up really high so this didn't fit and I needed a panel made so I ran that for the time being um, but anyway, this is just kind of a, a quick little overview of the truck. Just something fun that I've had for quite a while. Uh, I drag it out every once in a while and play with it. It actually does really well on the rocks. That front leaf spring kit keeps it really stable, but the rear still got a lot of flex. Uh, RC four-wheel drive steelies, sanded down, getting a little bit of rust on them already, and then some RC four-wheel drive bogger tires. Not a big fan of these tires, but I feel like they... Uh, fit the build a little better. It also has an RC four-wheel drive winch that sits up front. It's missing at the at the uh, current moment, but it usually sits in there, covers up this gap tooth look going on now. But another truck sitting here. Thought I'd show you guys. So we'll see you later.